Hi guys, I hope you're well. I'm Harry from HS Fitness. Today we're going through a sample workout from our Military Athlete Academy, the new program that we've just launched from week three, day one, so the Monday, if you're starting on a Monday. A little warm up first of all, we've got two rounds of a little bit of rowing, some box jumps, and some split squat work to get some mobility in there. It's our prehab work in the warm up as well, so it's all built in. We've then got some back squats, so nice heavy back squat into some lighter stuff to get our strength response and a little bit of hypertrophy going on as well and these big strong legs for military. We've then got a little bit of a rest, shake out, change our shoes and then we're going to go through a running workout. So we're looking at speed today, so no, no more than 600 meters, we're going to go nice and fast and we're going to get that done. We've got a little bit of warm running and cool, cool down running either side of that to get our long slow miles in there as well. After that, Again, we'll shake out a little bit of a rest, recover slightly, and then we've got our accessories, which again are super important. We've got a little bit of knee health slash knee prehab today. Uh, we're going through a little wall sit into some sissy squats and some banded reverse Nordics. So I'll show you all of those things. They probably sound like gibberish at the moment, but they'll all make sense as we go through. So our warm up's gonna be two rounds. We've got one minute on the rower into five nice explosive box jumps, some ATG split squats, after grass, that sample, and some full range calf raises to get some blood into the calves and get our mobility in. So, starting with a row. First minute done, okay, nice and easy. Just getting some blood into the lungs, getting the lungs stretched out a bit into our box jump. Only five of them, getting nice and explosive box jumps. Going into some split squats, just got to grab some light dumbbells for those. Nice manly dumbbells. Next, about ready. I'm gonna sign. So you're gonna to want to get onto a nice elevated surface. So I'm gonna use the roller and get some stretch. What? Out the car. And some contraction. So stretch all the way down. Contract. Cool, round one done. We crank the pace up a little bit on this row this time. Just a touch. Another minute. Super important when we're doing these, push the knee all the way over the toe and keep that back knee off the ground on a stretch through the hip flexor. Stretch and a strengthen. Go for calf raises, a little bit harder to balance on the rower. Mm. Knees spread now. Cool, warm up done. That's about three and a half minutes. Just rattle through that real quick. I was already fairly warm, I've been doing some videos. So, I've got to change my shoes now. Lift the shoes on, knee sleeves on, and we go for some squats. Everything sticks together in your gym bag, doesn't it? It's important for me to get my knee sleeves and lifters on to get a bit old. So, do it all with the snapper, 19 year old. Should be alright. This just puts me in better positions and keeps my knee joint nice and warm. Not essential, but a nicety. So a lot in my years of physicality. So, body's feeling it a little bit. 
Why is it put on to warm up? Something again I never did in my military preparation, which probably didn't help me out. It's done. So I'm here warmed up now. I've got five reps, a heavy five to build up to. Might take me a little bit of time, but I'm going to try and do it as fast as I can to just keep the intensity up in the session, to be honest. Regardless of how heavy I'm lifting, I'm always going to do a warm up set with the bar empty just to get used to the movement, get the bar in the right place and all the rest of it. So, set of five, just to get used to things. I need expansion on the gym link. A bit too tight in there. Got there in the end. 220s on, 60 kilos of course. Your jumps are going to be different to mine. If you do squat 300 kilos then you might want to jump a little bit higher. If your squat's a little bit more beginner, so 100, clearly not going to jump 60% in the first set. So I'm going to hit a few reps to get warmed up. Quite interesting this, I've not worked up to a heavy five in a long time. My one rep max is 165, so we'll see where we can get to. That was 80. Who knows? Put it on the bar, so where things start to get a bit real. So knee sleeves go on. They're already sweaty, which is lovely. And smell. Sure. They're always smelly, so yeah, never walk. You smell homeless, Brett. Homeless. Okay, I'm only ever gonna do twos or threes on my work up. I don't wanna do five every set to re-fatigue me. If I do five five times for my heavy five, I'm clearly not gonna get the most out of that heavy set. So twos or threes to work up. See how we feel. Hundred didn't feel too bad. Thinking hundred and twenty next straight in. My sort of idea is hundred and thirty to get to for five. I'd be pretty happy with that. So one twenty next. I'm gonna shut the belt on as well. I'm sure, this gym looks bigger on Instagram. Don't be fooled, kids. If you have a lifting belt for this session, I would chuck it on, depending on how experienced you are for lifting. I only use it past 80% of my one rep max. So choose if you want to use it. I think you should probably learn how to brace your, yourself before you use it. Obviously I've been lifting for a fair few years, so I can chuck it on and not just rely on the belt. So. Worth noting, I'm never gonna have it super tight until it's really heavy. This is about 80%, so it's not ridiculous. So I'm just gonna have the belt on, so it's used, I'm used to it, and I've got something on my body, so it's not just a foreign thing when I go real heavy. So this is probably gonna look a lot different to 100 kilos, but it would be too. So again, number two, get a feel for it. I'm gonna rate it out of 10, and then go from there. Okay, it's not too bad. Um, Wednesday today, it's quite heavy on Monday, so quite close together. Don't usually do that, so we should see how this goes. But 120 on, not too bad. I think I'm gonna go for my five now. As I've done there, I'm only, I'm only taking one attempt at that five. So you wanna feed out a little bit. You don't wanna take loads of attempts. If it's not an absolute true five rep max, don't worry about it. It's a heavy five for the day, so it's not it goes off sort of how you feel, how you've slept, how you've eaten. So don't worry about it too much. 130 is going on. Hopefully you're gonna hit that and move on.
So this um, strange purple liquid is BCAAs, electrolytes. Bit of protein going on, I think. Uh, it's great flavor. Interesting. But yeah, for these, when it's a warm day and you're sweating a lot, you lose a lot of electrolytes. So it's good to have them on hand, especially when you're running, you're running shortly. 1.30 on the bar, see how we go. Again, this is my top set, so I'm gonna cinch the belt up a little bit tighter. It's not going real tight, but I just need it to be probably corset tight, so then when I breathe, it's pushing the belt a little bit, just so it's actually doing something. I'm bracing against it. Again, probably didn't look like a true five rep max. Probably an eight out of 10, so we have two or three reps left in reserve there, but that's okay. So now I'm gonna take a little bit of a rest. Breathing more, I should do that. So just finished our heavy five, worked up to around 130 kilos. We're now gonna back off, peel some weight off the bar, and we're going through eight reps for five sets on the 90 second. So at 53%, just check the app, and that's spat out 87 and a half kilos for me. I'm here with 90, just because it's saving me fat around with smaller plates. But, so 90, I might see myself off, live to regret that later on in the sets. But going on the 90 second, obviously makes your intensity build a little bit. So I'll be out of breath through this and lifting some weight, so you get a double benefit from this. I'm gonna count it down, hopefully give me 10 seconds to count down. If not, it doesn't, I'll get straight into it. Good to go, ready? Three, two, one, okay. no cap now. Beautiful. <laughs> Set one in the bag. 30 seconds gone, so we've got 60 seconds to rest to get out of breath. But this is five sets of eight, squatting. So we're getting some volume in this early stages in the program. Shouldn't be this out of breath, I'm sure. Really. Just make sure on these that we're getting full depth and full extension. It's very easy when we're moving at speed to miss that extension and to cut yourself short on the depth. So just make sure that we're hitting that depth and extension to get a full range of motion through the muscle and get the benefits out of it. So, on the 90 second, I'm gonna go again. 20 seconds to go. Eight. Here we go. Again, got that done in about 20 seconds. So we've got a bit more rest to get going. The idea of doing these uh, bigger rep range in the earlier stages in the program is to be in a, what's called an accumulation phase of training. So we're accumulating loads of volume, getting used to the movement pattern, building some muscle, and then we'll use that muscle for our strength phase later on down the line. Ooh, going on the three minute mark this time. Got running next, so hydration's key. So that concludes the squatting for today. We're gonna strip the bar, because you always put weight plates, and then we're gonna run it on the treadmill. So that's our squatting done. Have a little three to five minute rest while you change your shoes and get ready for your run. Maybe start you off, put your heart rate manner on, what you want to do, whatever you want to do. We're going into a run, so we're going 1500 meters of warm up running. So a nice slow pace, just get used to running. Get your legs shaken out a bit after all those squats. 
And then we're going through five times 500 meters at a 1.5 mile pace, 75 seconds in between each of, each of those. And again, we're gonna rest one to two minutes and go through some faster sprint stuff, finishing with a 1200 meter cool down. So, fair bit of volume there. I'll add it all up and tell you at the end what I got. But my paces for this, I'm gonna try and hold my six minute mile for the 500s and then end in between a 5.15 and a six minute mile for the sprinty stuff afterwards. And the warm up cool down is important, so just go whatever pace you need to. So about a minute in between those two. First things first, bang it up to six minute mile up. It's gonna get loud in it. Six out seven, start with the bucket. Okay, just wait till it gets to an even number, make the math easy. Yep. band and a mat if you want more for your knees but again not essential we need an upright again attach to the band just going to wrap around and thread it nice and sturdy through there okay same performance points as the city squat so i'm going to go hips extended leaning back start here and again just build your range as you go back and get that stretch on your quads 
few new quads to come up, trying to pull on the band too much. Let me just pause the bottom. Stand up. So if you didn't feel either of those two exercises, stretching that rep then, which is the muscle that runs down the middle of your quad, then the likelihood is you're not squeezing your bum and pushing those hips through as you lean back. So if your hips aren't extended, you won't feel that stretch and therefore you're not getting the full range out of the movement. So you want that stretch on the rep then, that's the idea. So guys, the camera died after our last set of accessory work, but I wanted to round off the video by saying, if you want to get involved with any of the stuff you've just seen, then the link is in the description in the video below. If you like what you saw and you want to see a little bit more of it, then like and subscribe. See you next time. of the lessons that we learned.